Hola, mis chicas. So, it's been a long time that I have not done a haul video. So, I'm going to be doing a haul video. I went to Dollar Tree and Big Lots, as you can see by the title. I'm going to be... The title says it all. But, yeah, it's been a while that I have not done a haul. And it's basically a beauty type of haul. Um, because Big Lots and Dollar Tree has beauty stuff. Like, really, really nice, good, cheap beauty stuff. Yeah, check your local Dollar Tree and Big Lots as well. Like, Ross, Marshalls, Burlington, anything. Any, and before I get started, I'm not trying to brag or any shape, size, or form. Or nothing like that. Um, I like watching these types of videos just to see what what other people buy and if they have it in my local store and stuff like that. Um, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. And if you don't like these types of videos, just exit out and we don't have a problem. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is free and it will totally help. And yeah, let's just get started. I'm gonna just start with a Dollar Tree. I have my receipt right here. And I have some quite stuff. Like, first of all, I bought these iPads. They, they look like this. They have two two pairs of there. They look like this. Again, they were a dollar. Let me just put that there. And they look like this. This was the only last pack that they had um, in my local Dollar Tree. As well, I got these four masks. These are the Volcano Mask self-heating ones. They look like this. Um, again, a dollar. And this is purifying treatment for a minute. It clean cleansing, heating, and purif purifying. Um, yeah, I just got four just in case if I like it. Just to have backups and stuff. But... Oh, this is weird. But it looks, it comes in this really big thing, and, it, and the inside has this. And that's how it looks. It has the directions and like a little um, review and stuff. Just let me know. Oh, as well, I will give you my feedback of how I like it and stuff. So, got two of the Salon Selectives um, 3 Minute Hair Therapy. I basically, a deep hair therapy mask basically for your hair um it's really good actually for a dollar i leave it for five minutes or ten i don't leave it for three I like creamy texture these i do recommend these um they look like this um i got nail polishes because i wanted more nail polishes um i had like bright colors and stuff and i just wanted some neutrals and stuff so and deeper colors um let me just start off by these two these are just like they come in these little packages 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 they look like this um this is like the maybelline one and they come in packages like this let me just open them I'm not gonna open these but um the first one that i got it's not a color or anything this is a base coat um yeah it's a base coat and it's the color Day gel smooth base coat um so yeah I did not see that I didn't see the cap but and this is the top coat so I didn't I thought it was just like a a gel type of thing but no this is pretty cool um anyways so yeah I got these two base coat no top coat and base coat so just to save time I took them out of the packaging and I'm gonna show you the colors as well I swatched them in this um, on a little piece of paper here. So yeah, the first one are four that I got from Revlon. Um, these three are the Brilliant, Brilliant Strength line. And this one with the black cap because these three have white caps. Um, this one is just the color stay, Revlon color stay, long wear nail polish basically. Um, but yeah, let me just start off with the first one here. The first one here is 240 Inspire. It's a really nice, how can I say this, like a neutral type of color. It looks like this. And I swatched it here and it's this one right here. The first one. 
and it's a really nice, I will say like burgundy, not burgundy, like a really light mauve color. Yeah, that's like a really nice mauve color. So I got that one. Um, I don't think it will dry fast. It doesn't seem like it will dry fast, but that's a really nice color. Um, the next one is 210 uh, Pursued. Pursued? Sorry if I can't pronounce these because these are really, really, really weird names. But this is a really nice, like, burgundy red color. It has like a, it's almost like my shirt. Look at that. But yeah, it's a really nice color. It has like fuchsia undertones to there. Looks like that. Really nice. Um, the la um, the next one is 190 Intense, Intense, I don't know, you can see that, but it's a really nice, um, I can't say sea foam, like a green and blue type of color, um, it's a really, really nice, like, type of mint, I will say, um, but it looks like that, really, really nice. Um, there were a bunch of colors at Dollar Tree. Um, there were like yellows and like coppery colors, like frost colors. Um, but these are the four that I liked. And then this one's just a plain black. And this is called 270 Stiletto. Um, I like the names of them, actually pretty cool. And just a plain black. And last Lee, I got a nail polish from Maybelline, the color show one. Um, but this is a the limited edition one, a hundred. I got you beige. Um, it's like a pinky beige color, like that. Um, the name of it, and that's how it looks like. So yeah. That's what I got from Dollar Tree. Let's go on to Big Lots. Okay. This one that I saw here. This is the Gillette Venus. Like a little kit here. This was $7.50. And then Gillette like razors are really, really expensive. Like at Target, Walmart, anything like that. Um, just for one. Like the good ones like look like this are like $19 or anything. And this was $7.50. It include a razor, a stain, stain care passion fruit shaving gel, and a razor travel case. Um, so and base and a little like travel bag that you can put it in here. It was $7.50. There were a bunch of these in my local big lots. Um, and then I got two makeup wipes, and these are the Olay Fresh Effects one. Um, I believe these are new because I have not seen them. They were two dollars each, so I got two of them. These two, um, these are the exfoliating wet cloths. Um, it has honeysuckle and white tea. So pretty excited to try those out. So I will let you know if I like them or if they smell good or anything like that. And then I found these um, nail strips. I got two I love no strips and I've been hunting down like skincare products and stuff and I'm glad I found these. These have six strips on each little box and they were two dollars. These are the deep cleansing no strips. Um, these are new. This is from the brand Appeal. Appeal. Looks like this. And then I love facial masks. I like like to put it on my face. They had a bunch of them. So I got three boxes here. They have four each. Um, they were two dollars so they're like 15, 15 cents a piece or something like that. They had a bunch of them. They had like the green tea and aloe, the cucumber, they had the orange one, they had the collagen one. They had a bunch of them so I just got three of them. Um, I just got the ones that I like for my skin like my skin type because um, I have oily skin and cucumber and green tea and aloe helps a lot with oily skin. So I got two of the green tea and aloe um, facial essence. Again, it's from the same brand from the nose strips. Um, they're made in Korea. 
let me open one. And they are just individually wrapped like this. And then at the back they show you how to use them and stuff. But yeah, pretty excited to try those out. So I got two of the green tea and aloe one. And then one of the cucumber one. Um, let's see if they look the same. Yeah, they look the same. They just have a big cucumber in the front. Um, but yeah, pretty excited to try these out. So now they had a bunch of nail polishes. Um, again, I got two Revlon and one L'Oreal. I got these two, I don't know, they were like from last year, I believe. The perfume ones, Revlon Perfumier Sentinel Polish. Um, I don't know if they smell. It smells like, for me, it smells like nail polish. Um, let's see. It smells like nail polish, like literally, uh, no, okay. But this is a really nice yellow. It's lo it's like a nice, really nice pastel yellow. Great for summer. This was $1.50. I don't know they, how much it retails like in stores and stuff. Um, I think I saw these for like five, almost eight dollars uh, each. And then I got it for $1.50. And this one is called Sunlit Grass. It looks like this. I don't know if it needs to smell like sunlit grass. It doesn't smell like sunlit grass. It smells like nail polish. Like nail polish, basically. But it's a really nice yellow. Um, I swatched it right there when I was in store. So it's like that. Really nice yellow. Pretty excited because I don't have yellows. Actually, I don't have yellow. This is my first yellow in my nail polish collection. Pretty, pretty awesome. Um, the next one that I got is this one, and this is a, basically a black color, and it's called Espresso. Um, a dollar fifty again, and it looks like that. Um, it's just black. It's basically the same as the other Revlon one, but yeah, you can never have too much black on your nail polish or your wardrobe. I have a bunch of black, like in my wardrobe and stuff. I don't have no soul, so black is my thing. And then the other last nail polish is this one. And this is the L'Oreal one. This is in 360 Gret Expectations, I believe. Um, looks like this. Yeah, it's 360. All right, you can see that. But it's a really nice... How can I explain this? It's a really nice has like purpley undertones to it with grays and stuff and it looks like that it's a really nice color um a dollar fifty so basically all of those that's all the nail polishes that I got now into like the makeup wise because I found some good good products then I was like oh my god I have they were Revlon, the Le Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. These are really, really popular. I think they are still popular. Yes, they are popular because I used to have two of them, but I finished them on and they were great. I got the last five. Literally, these are the last five. I tried, um, I only I had four in my hand, but there was in this basket. There was like another one and I got it. So, got those five and I got a color Maybelline color whisper i've seen these i they were like last year two years ago i'm not sure um but this was three dollars this is number 70 um i never tried these these are my um this is my first try first time buying one of these um so like that Ooh, that's really nice pink i don't know if they're really pigmented i heard some of them are not Oh, that's pretty right there. That's a great... Ooh, really buttery. This is number 70. Faint for Fuchsia. Oh, they do have names. So it's number 70, Faint for Fuchsia. It's a really nice um, 
looks like this. This is the packaging. I think you have seen one these, but the, it's a really nice pinky color. It's perfect just for summer or anything. If you don't if you don't want anything intense or any lipstick or anything like that, this is perfect. It doesn't have a smell or anything. So that's this. I got it for three dollars. I don't know. They were like retail prices are like eight to ten dollars, and I got it for three. So that's great. So I got them out of the packaging and stuff. Let me just start off by the light colors and then going into the deeper colors. The first one that I have here is Pink Lemonade. It's really nice. Um, so it looks like this. Um, let's swatch. Okay, okay. Um, it looks right there, this one right here. It's really light, so I like these types of colors just to see if I just want a natural look and I just want to think in my lips to not just to moisturize and moisturizing them. But it looks like this. It's like a vanilla vanilla scent, but it's a really nice pink. You can totally tell by the camera right there, it's like a really nice pinky color. So yeah, for two dollars the pigmentation it's okay. Revlon has um some of these are really pigmented, some of them are not. But it's fine by me. Then this one I got. It's This one was Pink Lemonade number 47. This is Cotton Candy number 45. Um, this one. I think I'm going to be chopping it off. Because it was open. Wasn't it open? It looked open but it looked swatched. But it's fine. I can just chop it off. And it looks like that right there is a really nice thing. This looks frosty. Frosty. Mm, I hate, I do not like um, frosty lip gloss, lip balms, or anything like that. I don't like them at all. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. It's really nice. It looks, it looks frosty, but I don't know. I'm going to just test it out on my lips. That's, uh, again, cotton candy. And that one was pink lemonade. And the next one is sweet tart number ninety. Um, this looks pigmented. Well, it looks pigmented. Let's see if it is pigmented. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pun. Yeah. That is. This is right here. This one is the color whisperer. And this one is Sweet Tart. The first one is Sweet Tart, number 90. Yep. Yep. I like that. Um, this is number 63, Wild Watermelon. Ooh, look at that. It doesn't have a scent to it. Look at that. It's not that pigmented like I, w I thought it was going to be. But it's fine actually. It's really good. Uh, it's a really nice red color. Really nice. And then the last one is Raspberry Pie number 10. I think I had this one. I think I had it. I think I had something raspberry. But. Let's see. Oh, I don't even know where to put it. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Thank god I got these because they were like the last five. Literally, these are the last five. That's Raspberry Pi. So these are all of the colors right there. Oh my god, and they're really, really buttery. Ah, okay. Let me just calm myself down before I get a heart attack. Basically, that's all that I got. I hope you liked it. Again, this has been a while that I had not done a haul. And sorry if it's long. Again, I'm not trying to brag or any shape, size, or form. I like these types of videos. I like watching them. This is like one of my first, like in my history, in my YouTube thing to watch. Because it's just really great. Like people go through big lots and stuff to find such great deals and I literally found a bunch of good deals 
literally if I had gotten all of this in a drugstore it would have been over a hundred dollars because makeup is really expensive again you don't need to buy makeup from drugstores or anything like that just check out your local big lots Dollar Tree, Marshalls, Ross, Burlington even more. those types of places have even higher end makeup like Burlington, Marshalls, and Ross have higher end products like the Balm, the Cargo Cosmetics, just great products. And Dollar Tree and Big Lots have great um, products that you can find at the drugstore, like the Revlon. The, show, the products that I show you is basically like most of them are drugstore products. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is free and it will totally help. And just leave me any comments down below on anything you want to see next. I will do it for you guys. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye.